I knew nothing about Olympics when I started, nothing. I just boxed just to get on the local television show called Tomorrow's Champions. Man, listen, Ryan. I don't know nothing about being a heavyweight champ. I don't know how to fight, man. I just wanted to get on local television, and I found out how good I was, and I kept on fighting. People say I'm conceived, I talk too much, but they must have pity on me. It's hard to be humble when you're as great as I am. <laughs> just Mike, you know, I'm, a, I'm a peasant, man. I just, I'm here to entertain the people. I'm no elite person, man. And never has a slave got up and said, I am the greatest. I'm beautiful. I'm pretty. Time, I cannot lose. To face the I said, that nigga talks too much. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga needs a good whooping, and they pay money to see me beat. And I go to the bank laughing, 100,000, 200,000, feeling, I am the greatest. I'm a nigga, right? You know, really, 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 really. I'm not saying like I'm a black person. I'm a, I'm a street person. I'm so, I don't even want to be a street person. I don't even like, I don't even like typical street people. But that's just who I became and what happened in my life and the tragedies in life that made me that way. But, you know, I'm Mike. You know, I'm not malevolent or anything. I just am. But I'm going to be the first black image that nobody can talk. Then, like, I'm not only a winner in boxing, I have my stand on the draft, I'm a winner also in the movement that I follow for my people. Nothing in the world is more humbling than getting your ass kicked. 